Well, hey, y'all, what's up? How y'all doing? I hope y'all having a great Mother's Day weekend. This is Friday, the start of it. Thanks for stopping by and watching another episode. You're watching Crazy Cat Fishing. I'm Stacy. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you've been watching and you ain't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? But anyways, I've been trying for a week to put a fishing video together and I just couldn't do it in one video so uh I had to put like three videos together just to make one video and uh I hope you enjoy and come along for the adventure we start off went fishing on my kayak for about eight hours on my local lake caught a few there mainly towards the end and then as soon as I got home I loaded up the vehicle and we took off for a 16 hour road trip up to upstate New York to my wife's family and uh, to go see our grand new granddaughter. While we were up there, my brother-in-law wanted to go take me fishing at this one spot and we tried it. We only had two hours of daylight left and it was raining. We ended up catching some, but it was so dark that the camera just wouldn't pick it up so I can't put that in there. And then we ended up going to Aunt Tina's house. Hi, Aunt Tina. Thanks for letting let me fish your pond. That was really awesome. Thank you very much. So yeah, the video ends at Aunt Tina's house. So uh, stay tuned. Here we go. Hey y'all, how y'all doing today? I'm up here on my local lake. Going back out on my new kayak. They've dropped the water down way low to do dam repairs and shoreline repair and dock repairs and all that. I mean, it's a good six foot down and that dock is completely out. Uh, <clears throat> today, I'm, Today, I'm not sure exactly. I'm just going to float around and everything. The wind's supposed to be 10 to 15 miles an hour, so I don't know how much fishing I'm actually going to get done. I'm just going to have fun on the water on the kayak, and if I catch some fish, I catch some fish. Uh, I brought a medium action pole with me with a four pound line. Or no, take that back. Six pound line. And then I got my ugly stick GX2 with the Cadence 4000 reel, got an eight pound test on it. Uh, I'm gonna try something that I ain't never done before and that's a wacky rig drop shot. Already got it rigged up. A uh, buddy of mine, he's 15 years old, legal, let's see, legal, Legal Hook Customs makes his own lures. He makes swim baits, uh, hard baits, and stuff like that. Go check him out. Legal Hooker Customs, 15 years old. And then on this rod, after I get past the shallow parts out there, I'm gonna throw this shad paddle tail and troll it until I get to a creek. But yeah, I'm gonna head across the lake. My intentions go up in this creek. I'm gonna cast around here with the the wacky rig drop shot and uh, see if I can't catch something. Cause I always cast around the boat ramps when you put in. There might be something sitting there. But uh, enough rambling. Let's get on the water. Let's see how bad this wind's gonna be. And I'll see you when we get there. Oh. Did you see that? Right here.
<clears throat> All right, I threw on a, a Rebel V crawl. See if we can't catch something. Uh, I mean, this is ridiculous. I've been out here four hours. I had one strike. Shoot, I'm gonna have to throw a trout magnet on. Something told me I should have brought some worms. <laughs> I mean, really. This is ridiculous. And I finally got one, y'all. Woo wee. I knew it would be right here on this point. Oh, I'm about to run into this wall. And lose my rod at the same time. <laughs> I got some bait now. Maybe. Oh, that was a quick release. Where did it go? Oh, it's stuck on me. Of course, why not? Oh, let's leave that down there. See what we got. Good lord. That's a big old bluegill. I bet you that's a trophy. I ain't got nothing to measure him with. Check him out. Nice. One. Now I came out of that cove, now I got to fight the wind. Good thing I'm going that direction but right now i'm going this way so uh, we're gonna see what happens uh, oh this is about 10 mile an hour wind i was making good speed until i hit this still handling good though Oh, I bet I'm gonna get hung up right there. That ain't that shallow. I don't know why I'm going right into this wind. Oh, yeah. Ah. We're going into a headwind. I quit paddling. We're still going straight. Until the wind slows us down. I'm going to fight my way across here. And then I'm going to put my catfish baits out. And depending on which way the wind's blowing, I might, I might put my catfish bait back out. I don't know. I just want to catch some fish. One just ain't going to do it for today. Alright, I'm back at the slough that I started out at. I'm just up against the bank so the wind won't blow me around. I got a piece of, well, I got the bluegill, bluegill head out there setting in about 30 feet of water. I'm just going to sit here and wait until it's time to leave. There ain't nothing else was happening. If I get a bite, I'll get back with him. Oh, I got one. Oh, I had one. Ah, darn it. Oh, I got one. Woo! Check him out. Red breast.
take him out. Alright, let's let him go. Oh, I got another one. Oh, that's a good one. It's fighting good. Holy crap, look at that. Well, that's a big old bluegill. Check him out. Good Lord. Oh, let's let him go. See you, buddy. That's my luck. I get to the end of the day. That's when I start catching fish. Let's see if we can, can get one right here. Crap. I gotta learn how to cast. That's a big old bluegill. There should be more in here if there's one in here like that. Hey, we took a little road trip up here to upstate New York to see my granddaughter and uh, my brother-in-law Johnny here. He wanted to go fishing. It's a little sprinkly, but hey, the fish are already ready wet. They ain't gonna worry about it. So we're gonna hop down here we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, I'm not sure what we're gonna catch today. I'm gonna to start off with the Rebel Wee Crawl just to see, cause I already have it on my line. Guy said that he caught some pike. I ain't never caught one of them before. Let's just see what we can do. Johnny's gonna fall in. <laughs> Oh, I'm done rubbing bottom. Oh, let's walk over here and see what's over here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna try not to fall. said I don't know this is up north fishing I'm used to down home fishing I don't even know what to try to catch a pike on it's supposed to be bluegill panfish and bass in here do you put a worm on Oh, I was asking if that's what you oh, put yeah, on. Huh? That's what I'm using now. Okay. Just gonna walk around till we find these fish. It's rainy, overcast. Holy crap. It was right over on me. Looks, looks 
Yeah. Come on, fish, look. Bite, baby, bite. <laughs> Uh, we came from that side over there to over here. There's a beaver swimming around. Thought we'd come here and give this a shot. Hey, I'm up here in upstate New York. Right now I'm in Warsaw with my aunt. We came up, or with my wife to come up here to visit her family and see our new granddaughter. Tried to go fishing the other day with my brother-in-law. It didn't work out. We only had like two hours before the sun went down. But I'm up here today at my wife's Aunt Tina's house. She got a pond. We're going to catch us some fish. Check out that wind turbine. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to start off with a white curly tail jig and a split shot on there. Let's just see what we can catch. I've been wanting to fish this pond for a while since I've been coming up here, but every time I come up here, it's froze. <laughs> uh, How deep is this pond? 17, 15, 17. Oh, so it's deep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Down into here, like nine foot up through there. Uh, I get my best stuff working up this head usually right. just whatever the other day at my i caught one in a bass as long as my boot wow maybe i need to throw a spinner on oh, something just hit right there Is it girl or oh boy? Oh, there we go. She loves the fish. The dog got it. When she was oh, younger, oh. she would scramble out here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She will often put her head in the water and you let the fish go through. Check that out. That's the wicked. I don't know if she's still there. Get a fish. Fish on. He got it right here at the bank. Fish on. She's like, oh, yeah, fish. How did I get him? Got him from the outside. <laughs> Caught a fish, you did. Caught a fish. Well, there we go. Check him out. Pretty northern bass. Mm. Let's let him go. Yay, I ain't skunked. <laughs> Oh, it's got a radio on it. It's just lucky I caught that one. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a good one.
Check that one out. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, sure. Nice one. No way you. Oh, 14 inches. Just shot a pound. It's a bass? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Jump for dog poop. It could happen. Oh my God. Almost a pound. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you let it go, but the dog's attention to you. She, well, she thinks it's like still going to be there. <laughs> Where'd it go? She used to stick her face right in there. <laughs> it's chilly out here and wet. I'll be glad to get back home where it's warm. Let me go test down here real quick. Oh, right here at it. Ooh, you got bigger. No, this is my third one. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, I got another one now. If I can do that again. That's a bluegill. No, oh, that's a red breast. Check him out. Pretty good size. All right now. Check out that one. Big red breast. Hands are really cold now.
Well, folks, a few more casts and I'm going to call it quits. So my hands are froze. <clears throat> and I think we've called everyone that. It's going to get caught today. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I wish we could have caught some more fish, but time wasn't on our side. And the weather wasn't on our side. So, yep, we're going to talk to y'all later. See you on the next one. Always crazy cat fishing.